J of Shelton, Connecticut, sent us a letter about how she's been experimenting with pendulums. Well, she inspired us to experiment with a pendulum of our own. We're going to see if we can get it to go back and forth in five seconds. Here's a pendulum we built to meet the challenge. We made it out of string, a cup, sand for weight, and since we didn't have a tree, we used this branch. Okay, so do you want to mark a place so that we can always have a certain place to go from? Yeah, because otherwise we might end up like going, we might go from here, and then we might want to add more weight and go we, from another place. Yeah, go from up there. Okay, so where do you want to start it from? How about right here? Do you think that's right? Yeah, that looks about right from up here. Okay. Go. 1.16 seconds. Wow. I guess that didn't work. Yeah, we have to make it, we have to do something to it. Do you think that making the string longer will make it go further? Yeah, because then it would go a further distance. Right, because if it's down here, it would have to go from, like, like, think of it as a triangle, and if it's at the top, it's at the point, and it doesn't need to go as far, but if it's at the bottom, the base of it... Oh, yeah, that it goes... Needs to go farther. So, we'll untie it from the top. And go. 225. Wow. That's strange. I think we should, because we can pull it back farther, because now we have a lot more rope. Okay. Mark this spot with tape, too. Now it has a lot, a lot of string. Okay. Okay, ready? Go. 234. I think we should add more weight, because we're not really getting anywhere with pulling it back farther, because when we pull it back too far, it gets to be so that it goes faster. See? So you think that the lighter it is, the faster it goes because... It's like if you try to pull, push a heavy rock forward, it's a lot harder than pushing a light rock forward. So how far do you want to fill it? Up to, like, the tape. That would get it really far. Okay, yeah, let's try to exaggerate it a lot, like put a lot in and see what happens. And go. 234, again. The weight doesn't seem to be making a difference. I know. So I think we should mark it again from another spot. How about from right here? Okay. 243. Ready, set, go. Wow, it's going fast. 243. Yeah. So I don't think weight actually does anything. We realize that the weight of the pendulum doesn't really have an effect on how fast it goes, but it's the length of the string that does. So, to make the pendulum go back and forth in exactly five seconds, we'd have to make the pendulum longer. So, we're going to go make it longer. In order to get the pendulum to swing back and forth in five seconds, we had to make it really long. We also had to add some weight to the bottom so that the rope would swing straight. But we know that the weight doesn't affect how fast the pendulum goes. So you want to test it? Yeah. All right. Okay. Tell me when. Go. It's doing good. Five seconds. Woo! We got it. All right. Oh my gosh, we got it. I'm so happy. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay. Want to do it again? Yeah. Just okay. To make sure. Five seconds. Five seconds. Five seconds. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, we're so good. Good job. Oh, yeah. Good working with you.